Hey there, Veronica here with Oh Happy Plants. Um, today I wanted to just take a minute to mention a really common pathogen that I'm seeing all over the place on snake plants. Um, it is called anthracnose, and I will try to find a picture of it to put on the main, um, like the, the start screen of this video, so that you can actually get to know what it looks like. Um, just kind of a little description. Um, on a snake plant, you'll see like on the main strappy leaf, you'll see kind of a circular or um, irregular shaped water soaked lesion. And um, I'm sorry it's so dark here. I don't know why my camera is adjusting and only absorbing that much light. Anyway, um, so anthracnose is a fungal infection and you will see this appear on your snake plant. If it comes with it, it won't look like that at the shop most likely. Um, what they do is at the nurseries, at the growers, they continuously treat these with fungicides. And then once it leaves, the, the remaining fungicide wears off and then anthracnose will start to crop up and kind of take over and then it will start affecting your plant usually between like one and four weeks after you bring it home if it's fresh in from the grower it'll start like coming up then and so people will tell you that you've overwatered. that is not the case this is not a watering issue um what what may kind of help this fungus crop up um if you put your snake plant, if you believe the hype about snake plants liking lower light, that is 100% hype. They want good sun. They want um, either sun or a grow light. They want bright light. And um, they can survive in lower light. They can even grow a little bit in lower light. Typically, they won't get really strong, sturdy growth. And also, if they have this pathogen, then that will allow it to crop up. Good light supports your plant's immune system and will also kill the fungus. So um, you want to make sure you put those in a window. So um, that's the first thing you can do um, just to kind of support your snake plant in its transition to your house and to make sure that coming off the fungicides, it doesn't get this it, this infection cropping up, you can put it in a really good light area. And um, another thing to do is make sure you're fertilizing regularly, um, just lightly, really regularly. And, um, and then the third thing, if you do notice it, it's going to look like it's, it kind of looks like rotting areas on this, on the, the leaves, the, um, the, they're kind of like strap like leaves. You guys are familiar with snake plants. I'm sure they're very thick succulent leaves and it looks like they're rotting. It looks like, um, squishy areas. And then they kind of get these like irregular rings. And especially once the fungus, um, just kills that area and it dries out, you'll see the little concentric circle, circular rings or irregular, um, kind of squished up circles, um, in like going around each other. And um, that is a really key way to identify anthracnose. And, um, and it is a fungus, so you can spread it to other plants. You can, um, like the wind will blow the spores to other plants. Um, not that often, I haven't seen that happen too often, but you can definitely, like if you're handling your snake plant and then you touch another plant, that can get it too. And um, that is a really good way to kill half your collection. So don't do that. Um, <laughs> make sure if you're handling um, snake plants at a nursery, just make sure you wash your hands before you start touching all your house plants. Um, hand sanitizer might work on it. I don't know. I've never tried um, like alcohol on this fungus, um, but how to treat it. Sorry, it's kind of late here and I'm tired. Um, how you would treat it is you would first trim off any affected areas and you don't want to cut through the actual infected spot. You want to cut below it. And if there's like, if it's in the middle of the leaf, you can cut it off below, cut off the infected portion, and then you can try to pro propagate the top if you want to. Um, I would wash the remaining parts like some people will tell you to put cinnamon on the cuts and i don't know if that works i don't know if um if the plant mines at all um i haven't tried it cinnamon oil is is a fungicide so i mean there's that but um 
what I would do is use like a copper soap or something like that on the remainder of the healthy tissue. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could just use a simple like Castile soap just to try to wash away any additional spores that might be sitting on the surface of the plant. And then just put your plant in a really bright sunny spot because anything you can do to help that plant's immune system will help it fight off any issues. And um, it'll help it build up a, a better like cell structure on the outside of the plant, like thicken its skin up basically, and that will help it resist pests. And um, pests diseases, whatever we're talking about. Sorry, again, it's late. Um, so that is something that you can do to combat anthracnose. And um, once again, I will do my best to post some pictures in the main, um, like as the main screen of this. So just go back to the beginning of the video and pause it and you can look at what it looks like. Um, and I will try to share this as much as possible. Um, one thing that you could do, if you want more people to have access to this information, you can definitely share these videos around on, um, on Facebook, anywhere, Instagram, whatever. I don't, I don't actually know Instagram that well, so um, I'm assuming you can share um, videos and links and stuff like that. Um, the more people that know about this member tutorial community, the better, because then the more videos I'll be able to make and um, the more time I'll be able to put into it, basically. So, um, and the more people who get good information, the happier plants we're gonna have in the world. So go ahead and take a look at the tutorial community. If you're finding this on Facebook, it is at members.ohappyplants.com and if you just google oh happy plants it's oh space happy plants um, then it will come up with everything and if you go to our main website ohappyplants.com the um the member tutorial is linked up there um so yeah again welcome to oh happy plants um i will try to answer any of your questions there is a q a section so um feel free to pop in there and um, definitely take a look for anthracnose if you're buying a snake plant. This is something to watch out for because it can totally decimate snake plants. Um, good luck, guys. Bye.